It is the NFL draft with the seventh pick in the draft. The Las Vegas Raiders have selected Tyree Wilson, the defensive tackle from Texas Tech. We've got Locked on Raiders host Q with us. I'm Jordan Black. But first, Locked on NFL draft coverage is presented by Ultimate Football GM. You think you can run an NFL franchise? Visit ultimate-gm.com to play the ultimate NFL GM simulation game. Start your dynasty today. All right, Q, let's get into it. You are joining us from Kansas City, from all of the action. Take us inside. Take us into the reaction when the Raiders drafted Tyree Wilson. How was everyone feeling? How is the Raiders organization reacting to this news? Well, I'll tell you right now, for me personally, it was a sigh of relief. There's been way too many first-round draft picks that the Raiders have selected that have given me that, what? Who? Why? You know, it gave me those moments, and this moment did not. You know, when Tyree Wilson was announced, it was something that was um, needed. The Raiders need uh, as much defensive help as possible, so I knew Tyree Wilson was a guy that uh, would be a big upgrade to their defense, but didn't think he was going to be available at 7. So when the opportunity was there for the Raiders to get him, I thought it was just a great pick. You, you combine him with Max Crosby, Chandler Jones, and all of a sudden now you have a good defensive line that can get after the likes of Patrick Mahomes and Justin Herbert. So uh, for that, that was, that was really good. And I think that, you know, just by the reaction of a lot of people here in the media room and at the draft itself about, wow, that was a really good pick from the Raiders. And I know on, you know, the television broadcast, I believe they gave out their first a, and that was a, a Raiders, uh, you know, for the Raiders. And again, it's just for the first round picks in the silver and black, they haven't gone very well over the years. I mean, the last five, or six first round picks. I mean, only one of them still on the team and that's Josh Jacobs and he's on the franchise tag. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's good to see a pick that makes a lot of sense. Now, of course, Tyree Wilson has got to go put in the work and, uh, you know, and, and, and show why he was a first round pick. But right now on draft night, I think it was a really good pick for the Raiders. Raiders allowed the seventh most points per game last year. So how important is it to add a guy like this to that defense, a defense that, as you said, includes these young um, edge rushers like those two guys you mentioned before? Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, the the they just don't get after the quarterback enough, right? I mean, the defense, just as you mentioned, gave up way too many points. They were in way too many one-score uh, losses a season ago as they only won six games, and they lost so many by one score because they just couldn't stop the other team from scoring, they couldn't get to the quarterback. And Max Crosby did his best with 12 and a half sacks. But after that, it was, what, Chandler Jones with four and a half? I mean, it's just not enough, right? And then you look at the team that represented the Super Bowl for the NFC and the Eagles, who had 70 sacks as a team. So I'm not saying that all of a sudden Tyree Wilson is going to turn, you know, the Raiders into a 70-sack team, but at least he'll be able to provide more pressure on the quarterback. And he could play multiple positions. He could be on the edge or he can kick inside. So if you can kick him inside and you have Max, you have, uh, Tyree and you have Chandler Jones all getting after the quarterback. Now you got a three headed monster. So it just makes it that much more difficult. It makes the corners job easier as well. Now they don't have to try to cover a wide receiver as long. So again, I mean, the really good teams, they build it from the inside out. And this is what the, the, the Raiders did. Dave Ziegler with his first opportunity to have a first round draft pick since he's been the GM of the Raiders. Looks like he, uh, he hit a home run with Tyree Wilson. Really good pick. Now that you've been in Kansas City, you had a little bit of, of time to spend with Tyree, to spend with obviously some other guys that the Raiders and other teams, of course, are looking at. Was this pick almost written in the stars, if you will? It felt like it. You know, we were at a Play 60 event on Wednesday, uh, and it was kind of the final time that the prospects have an opportunity to just kind of let their hair down and relax and just be kids and hang around with the kids at, at the local high school. And they did that. And while I was talking to Tyree, I said, you know, hey, you're a Red Raider right now. There could be a chance that maybe you'll be a Las Vegas Raider tomorrow. And he said, well, actually, it's funny. I was a Raider in high school. I'm a Red Raider now. Then I could be a Raider. And I said, well, it sounds like it's lining up. Sounds like it just makes too much sense. And he said, yeah, it looks sounds like it makes too much sense. And then we laughed and that was it. And now, you know, here we are. And, and it made all the sense in the world. And like you said, it aligned. And so, uh, yeah, he's been a Raider all his whole life. So it's kind of written before he ever knew it. So now he's going to be a Las Vegas Raider. And I think uh, the Raider community and uh, fan base, Raider Nation, should be very excited about the opportunity of their new their new uh, edge rusher in Tyree Wilson. Now just has to sign on that dotted line and yep. cash it all in, right? So the Raiders have 11 more picks. What else do they need to do to make this draft a success? They need to make sure they... Uh, Continue to address the defense. Corner needs to be a, a, a priority as well. Linebacker needs to be a priority. I think they might need even a couple of linebackers. Um, you know, so that, that that's, uh, again, this, the defense, it's got to be defensive heavy. And at some point, maybe they need to get a quarterback, right? I mean, they have Jimmy G, but we know that Jimmy G is a stopgap guy. So I think that they'll come out of this draft with a quarterback at some point. I'm just not too sure 
exactly which one it's going to be or when they're going to get them. So uh, that's that that's going to be interesting, but it should happen sometime this weekend. All right. Well, Q, well, we, we will let you get back to all of the action in Kansas City. Appreciate all of the insight. For more on, Locked, on the Raiders, you can tune in to Locked on Raiders. For all of the action every day, that's part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. Q, go find out everything you need to know in Kansas City because they are calling you. Right? Yes, they are. I got to go. <laughs> you got to go. We appreciate Later. you. Later. Pre- appreciate you. <laughs>